Okay, well, we're gonna find another one. Last game was a bit hectic, but hopefully I can play better and put my guys in a more favorable position because, I don't know, I've been putting them into crazy stuff lately. So, let's see here. Yeah, Scizor, if you fire, probably gonna have to keep our mana tile alive. The Earthquake would be useful if taking our Aegis Slash because I won't get hit with that, um, I won't get hit with the King Shield if I use Earthquake on it. And, um, Arcanine could be a problem, but I I think I have the same base speed as Arcanine, or maybe I'm like 5 faster. Not sure at the moment, but um, whatever, we're just gonna, we're just gonna eyeball the damage, let's just woof it. Uh, let's go into Color Lennox. It's gonna start up with Zapdos. Okay, well that's a horrible, horrible startup for me, so... What we are going to do now is go for... Let's go for... Go for Darmanitan. I know it's not going to be taking a hit from Zapdos like this, but it's kind of the only thing we have. We don't really have a switch into this guy. Hopefully we can scare him out. Hopefully we can scare him out. Let's go for the flip. Arcanine's coming in. Okay, but he has Intimidate. Damn, he resisted that. It did a lot of damage even though it was intimidated too on top of it all. Uh... I want to go for an Earthquake, I really do, so you know what, let's do it. But it's not going to kill him because of course he does have an Intimidate on him, so... Makes sense. Now, I'm seeing... I'm seeing the fact that he... I'm faster, he's probably going to want to preserve his Arcanine. Because he most likely has Sunlight or something like that. So I'm thinking a Strong Flare Blitz just to end everything else out. Yeah, let's just go for the Strong Flare. Oh, he has Extreme Speed. Whoop! Forgot they carry that. Lesson learned. Um, let's go for Nosferatu now. Just to you know, get some revenge kill action going on. Let's just start the timer. On this. Okay, so now we can just go for this hard bird. Nosferatu can finish this. Age slash coming in. Okay. I mean, that was it was kind of easy to read, but you know, I just wanted to play it safe. We got Arcanine dead. I'm gonna go into Cut Atlantics now. We can at least slow his attack down while he sword dances. I, I knew the sword dance was coming, but at least now we can maybe roar him out of some shit. He's gonna go straight for the attack, it's the sacred sword. Not, not sure why you did that, but okay. Let's go for the thunder wave now. He's, oh my god! Straight into Zap. This is. The, the electric immunity to thunder wave is really irritating this generation because it means that now. The, the strategy that I kind of have with Cutalanix to slow down members of his team totally gets walled and re rendered useless by an electric type Pokemon on the opponent's side of the field. So Cutalanix lost some viability. He lost a lot of viability this generation thanks to the um, electric immunity to paralysis. Which kind of doesn't make any sense because how, how do electric types become immune to paralysis if paralysis is caused by multiple sources? like? It can be caused by Body Slam, which is due to pinched nerves. It can be caused by Glare, which is due to fear and the muscles tensing up. How do Electric types resist that kind of paralysis, huh? Can you tell me that? Whatever. Anyways, um, we are in a bad position once again because this Zapdos can drop hell on something and we have nothing to take it. In fact, Zapdos has been one of the only Pokemon that's really caused trouble for the scene just because I have nothing to take it without it getting killed itself first. Hmm, I gotta, I gotta solve that. Anyways, let's go for him power ice. It's not gonna do shit because this is Zapdos, bulky as hell. And um, the heat wave, of course, is gonna finish us off. Crit totally, <laughs> totally didn't matter there. Uh, wreck it, Ralph. You're the only, you're the only one that can save the day now. Let's just go for the ice punch here. We should be able to do a lot of damage. Maybe he thinks we'll have the Stone Edge or something. Which. If Arcanine comes in to take the Ice Punch, it's going to be such a good switch on his part. So you know what? Let's go for the Surf Quick. Yeah, because Arcanine, I knew he was going to be able to take that really well. Oh, and we went for the Ice Punch anyways. Thank you, Showdown. Totally appreciate it. Well, we got no other fucking choice. Damn, and Zapdos resists the damn Brave Bird as well. We have, like, nothing right now. Absolutely nothing. Let's go for Cut Atlantis. Gonna go for Flare Blitz, it's fine. And we get burned on top of it all! 
God, nothing's working out for us today, is it? This game is so hilarious. All right, well, we're obviously gonna lose this one. <laughs> I mean, there, there is still hope to a degree, but it's just looking very grim right now. That burn was totally not needed on my part. Um, damn, Zapdos, you're a son of a bitch. Okay. Damn, we, we pretty much can't do shit here. Gonna go into Cloyster, okay. But now that Cloyster's paralyzed, we can also hit this guy with a taunt just to ensure that he can't set up a shell smash on us. I wish I had a late game set up myself because I could have possibly used this as an opportunity to set up, but no one here really does set up. It's just kind of like copyrighted. I guess I see what we need in this team. Let's go for the Mega Evolution. Hit this nigga with the fucking... I want to hit him with a Rock Blast. Because I can predict Zapdos coming in. I can see that shit happening. Age Slash comes in, okay. That's fine, because... Then, is it okay? What moves do we have? We have Pin Missile, which won't hit shit. We have Bullet Seed, which won't hit this guy. Rock Blast, which won't hit this guy. Close Combat, I have absolutely nothing for Age of Slash. Great. More awesome revelations. This is, this is good, this is great. This is him with the pin missile, that's the only thing we really have, and I don't want to switch out. How is the pin missile doing less damage than the freaking, um... <laughs> well, it's doing the same amount of damage. Dang it, he quad resists pin missile, so I ain't surprised. Uh... We can go for the bullet seed now, and that'll do kind of the same damage as the rock blast. Well, uh, we can just go for the rock blast, I mean... At least the bullet seed won't miss. Yeah, fuck it, Bullet Seed. It does five, okay, not bad. I'm hoping that we'll be bulky enough that we can take what Age of Slash wants to do, so maybe if he goes for like a Shadow Sneak, we won't die from it. Shadow Sneak, we don't die, of course not. I mean, I know, I can understand why he would think we would, but at the end of the day, Shadow Sneak is only a base 40 move. Y you can't rely on it that much, even if you have two sword dances up on a field. Here comes the Arcanine, but I got a Gyarados for that. One that you burned, no less. That puts me in a bad position, because now I can't hit something coming in with a waterfall, but it's all right. This is the way the game goes. I can manage. I'm going to keep myself cool, calm, and collected. But god damn, we need these rocks up, but I have no opportunities to bring them shits in. It's going to go for the morning sun. All right, bitch. Good morning, sun. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph! Extreme speed, okay, we'll be able to take that. Now, because this Arcanine is defensive, I'm hoping that he won't have enough attack to kill me. But then again, would setting off the Stealth Rocks even be worth anything at this point? I highly doubt it. It'll help with Zapdos, but I just want this Arcanine dead. This thing is a fucking problem. Stay away from this case, actually. Alright, we got Cloyster in there now. Let's go into the copulator. He's gonna shell smash, but he's paralyzed. We should be faster than this guy, even though he, he's got the shell smash under his belt. Let's go with this rock glass. Yep, we're faster. Okay, so thank goodness, you know, Cloyster is dead. And now we got this Arcanine, who's gonna come in once again and threaten my ass out. You know, now the score is 4-4, but it, this game, the Zapdos is pretty much holding the deciding factor in this game. That's the only Pokemon that's really providing me an issue right now. We don't have much for it. Um, fuck it, we need Copulata. We need her. Because, you know, at this point, she's dealing a lot of damage with these hits. And I think that she'll have the ability to kill maybe the um, maybe even the Scizor. I was hoping I can get the Arcanine paralyzed. But I really wanted to get Metagross in there to try to see what if I can Earthquake or set up my rocks. Maybe it was cool. Maybe I should have stayed in there with Gyarados and Thunder Wave the Arcanine. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of reflecting on my moves now. Maybe it wasn't the best thing to switch into Metagross, but you know what? I, I can't change the past. I gotta deal with what I got in front of me right now. And these are the Pokemon I'm working with. Cut Atlantix, you did a damn good job, but now it's time for Wreck-It Ralph. I'm just hoping that Ralph here can do enough damage with this Ice Punch to consider the Zapdos dying. Because that would be great if this thing could die. Let's hit him with, he's gonna hit us with a Heat Wave. Because it's not stabbed, of course, we'll be able to... Damn, man, this thing is so fucking bulky. God damn. Then again, 
He could potentially go for the roost, and we can just go for an earthquake. That was bad. Stay away from this case, but hey, at least his heat wave missed. Now let's go in there with another fucking ice punch and do a lot of damage to this guy. We live the next one. Ice punch. He's at a pretty low amount of HP right now. I'm thinking that we're in a position where we can come in there with Crobat and finish this bitch off once and for all. I want to go for an earthquake. They think he's going to roost so bad. I really want to. Yes, he roosted. Earthquake, bitch. It's over. Wait a minute. This thing is still fucking kicking. You took an earthquake. You're a Zapdo. <laughs> Man, all right. Then again, he was taking the ice punches. Those are super effective. But then again, Earthquake is stronger than Ice Punch, and it's not stabbed. None of these are stabbed, so how did the Earthquake do so little in comparison to the Ice Punch from before? Alright, we're dealing with a smartass here, so I'm guessing he's probably going to try to go for the Heat Wave now and, you know, top us off. Let's go for this Bullet Punch, just to do it some extra damage. He's going to roost up again, right in our faces. What a cocky bitch. You are so damn... Why did I bullet punch? Ugh, this is so stupid. I should have just kept the earthquakes up. I really should have. Ice punching. Fuck it. Maybe we can get him frozen. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I really want to make things easier for Crobat to come in there and revenge kill this guy, but he ain't making it easy, that's for sure. Well then again, no, he made it easy. I fucked up not going for the damn earthquake on the second turn, knowing that it was better to have the earthquake either kill him when you roost or him kill me with the heat wave so he'd be low enough for a goddamn cross person. Yeah, I fucked up. Lesson learned. I fucked up. That was a choke. Big time. I learned my lesson. Let's go for a roost just to see if we can maybe tank the damage from the Thunderbolt. We're not going to be able to take that whatsoever. <laughs> um, Alright, well, whatever. It's pretty much a snack route. Let's go for this cross poison. Not gonna, it would have been, been able to kill him if I just played strategy smarter. Anyways, this guy's pretty much got it. This sucks. <laughs> this totally sucks. Damn it. Alright. Lesson learned though, you know? I mean, that game wasn't really less necessarily lost because, you know, the guy, well, he did outplay me, but it was more of a stupid decision that he outplayed me on, rather than me actually doing something. No, then again, yeah, he, he, he beat my ass just because I choked on a certain decision that was really important.